dream right here on the Howard Stern Show. So what are we going to try and achieve with these girls? Ah, we're going to do whatever Howard wants them to do, like he needs hypnosis for that. <laughs> so so uh, what do you think, like, what's going to be the hard part about hypnotizing some strippers today? Um, you have to be able to concentrate. I'm not quite sure I'm going to be able to concentrate today. No, they have to concentrate, not me. That's right. They have to concentrate. So what are some of the things that, you know, you think Howard's going to want you to do to them? You know, I have no clue. I, it's uh, sky's the limit with Howard as far as I'm concerned. And what makes a good test subject? Someone to get the you know, everybody can be a good subject. Uh, hypnosis is an educational process, so it's just a matter of uh, having some fun. With them. All right, see what's going to happen. Sounds good to me. Yeah, all right. Now, now it's happening. As you can see, Robin, Ronnie the limo driver is sitting next to me. Morgan and Chase are here as well. They are dancers at scores, which means you girls have the most important job in the history of the world, as far as I'm concerned. Do you know these girls? I always like to know if you've been a I know, I know all the girls. <laughs> girls, is being a dancer at scores the greatest thing a girl can do? Yes. Yeah. It is. Is it something you fantasized about when you were little kids growing up? I always heard about that place, yeah. This was your dream? Always come to scores. Always. Where's everyone from? Canada. Queens. Detroit. From Detroit? Yeah. Great town, Detroit. Mm -hmm. Ronnie, where are you from? The Queens. ugly girl on the end is from Queens. <laughs> yeah, the big ugly girl on the end. <laughs> hey, um, hey, Robin, thanks for taking me to the driving school with you. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> thanks. Just imagine yeah, trying Yeah, and, and you made fun of me when I went. Trying to drive without Ronnie. Well, girls and Ronnie, you look great. Let me bring in our hypnotist, Marshall Silver, who's going to try and do some things with you, see if we can't hypnotize you and have some fun with hypnotism. We haven't done hypnotism in a real long time yeah. on the show. There he is, young guy, uh, good-looking man. I bow down to the king of all media. Just don't hypnotize me, man. <laughs> How do you know you're not hypnotized already? I could be under. <laughs> yes. But given so, the choice, I mean, I'm sure you realize I'd rather do the ladies. Marshall, I understand. But Ronnie, uh, Ronnie and the ladies are here. And by the way, ladies, you look great. You really do. Thank the mini skirt thing is working for me. <laughs> Scores girls always look good. They're in the, like the little schoolgirl kind of skirts. Yeah, wouldn't you say these are schoolgirl skirts? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that kills me. There's a bunch of drunken ones outside. <laughs> I know. There's a, there's a bunch of drunken Scores girls. Yeah, I went to hypnotize one. She threw up on my shoes. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Marshall, how do, you? Marshall, how do we know you? I mean, what, what, what's your story? Yeah, how, do you, how do you become a hypnotist? And does it really work? I went to Hypno U. Yes. And, you were on the football team? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, I was a kid. I was a painfully ch uh, shy kid. I have uh, nine brothers and sisters. Right. Grew up on a farm in Michigan, no running water, no electricity. And all through high school, I couldn't get a date if my life depended on it. Right. I was terrified. It's hard to believe, but go ahead. I was terrified. And I uh, learned hypnosis when I was 17. My first subject was a... Uh, Where do you learn this stuff? Seriously. Yeah, at 17. You, you find a mentor. You find somebody to teach you. So I went and studied with a guy that was Some older supposed man. to be. <laughs> older man, took yeah. an interest I in a young boy. studied with Yoda. <laughs> and you studied and you learned. And, and you I became learned. one of the world's leading hypnotist, hypnotist guys. Yep. All right. And you do this mostly at, at shows? You know, I perform in Vegas. I met you at the Hard Rock when you were doing your show out there at Nobu's. Right. And, oh. um, at Nobu. At Nobu, exactly. Right, no Japanese plurals. Restaurant. Well, there's many of them, Nobu, singulars. Right. And so at 17, you became a hypnotist. You, you had no success with women, and this gave you confidence. Yes, it is, funny. What, you had, you had to hypnotize women? Yes. Oh, dear. You know, it's funny. At 17, I had no confidence with women. And, and no uh, mentor. And I no, had no mentor, so I turned to a life of pot <laughs> and LSD. Right. Yeah. yeah, so it shows you. You need a mentor. Yeah, it helped. How does one go about finding a mentor? Well, you find somebody that uh, already does it. Right. And so I found somebody that was considered to be the greatest hypnotist of the time and uh, went and studied with him. All right. So uh, you're going to give is, us a demonstration now? Can you put everyone I'd love under? To. Can, yep. you, can you do that for us? If, we can. Uh, all right. Here we go. Everybody listen to me. Breathe in deeply. In a moment, I'm going to count backwards from five to one. As I do, your eyelids close, your body relaxes. Breathe in deeply. Five, four, three, two, one. Sleep! Wait. Wait. Uh, body limp and loose. All right. Now, do you want to take their headphones off so they don't hear my voice? Um, that'd be fine. That'll work. Yeah, maybe that'll help you. As I, I count know. from one to three, open your eyes. One, two, three, fully aware. Sit up, everybody. Grab that from me. All right. We're going to take off your headphones. <laughs> you okay? All right. There you go. This is great. Awesome. <laughs> Breathe in deeply, everybody. One, two, three. Sleep! Now wait. Okay. Stuck to the chair. 
Now, these are really highly hypnotizable subjects. These are great subjects, yeah. Really? Yeah, they're out. I'm they sure. are in trance. Out isn't a good interpretation because we're still aware. In fact, we're even more aware. Hyper aware. Yeah, hyper aware. I'm absolutely. getting a really good view of the ones, the, her cans on the side. Look at the way she's leaning over there. Yeah. I think this is good enough. <laughs> this is good. Just having, yeah, just leave them like that? <laughs> all right. Now, um, just to give us a demonstration sure. of how hypnotism works, is there something you'd like to have them do before yeah, we, I get we, into my perversion? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping you'll get into it quick. Yeah, I'll get into it real quick. In a moment, I'm going to count uh, from one to three. On the count of three, all of you will open your eyes, feeling fantastic in every way. Uh, ladies, both of you ladies, the moment you open your eyes, the moment you feel my index finger touching you on your knee, you will experience such incredible sexual pleasure unlike anything you've ever known in your entire life. In fact, you will begin the beginning of an um, earth-shattering orgasm anytime my finger touches your knee. Love that. When my finger leaves your knee, all of a sudden you'll feel normal as if nothing's happened. Yet the moment I touch you again, you'll feel that orgasm coming on again. The count of three, open your eyes. Everybody feeling fantastic in every way. One, two, three, fully aware. All right. And girls, um, girls have you ever been hypnotized before? No. no. Never. First time. Do you believe in hypnotism? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. You think it works? Here we yeah. go. Yeah. What? Uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. And all he's doing is touching their knee. Wow. The phone's going to ring off the hook. I swear it will. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, girls, you mind if, uh, if uh, Marshall touches your knee again? Mm. Let me see that again. That was pretty good. Here we go. Uh, 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 oh, my. Uh, oh my. This one's doing the business still here. Uh, yeah, right. uh, the business. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> girls, Life are you is good. Girls, are you in love with Marshall? Mm. You like him, huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, God. Oh, oh. Are you embarrassed? Don't be embarrassed here. You can feel free to. You know. You know. This is the Howard Stern show. <laughs> Wow, that is great. All right, now um, uh, can you can you stop that for a minute? Sure. And I want to talk to you. Okay. Um, what about um, once you put everyone under sleep? Way All right. Just to see that it really works. Now, what if we made it so that when you touch Ronnie, the limo driver's knee, <laughs> he has an orgasm? How about we get somebody else to touch his knee? How about uh, I don't want to. All right, Gary, touch Gary will do. Gary right. will touch it. Okay. okay. You don't want to do any gay stuff. I Gary, guess. you metrosexual. Oh, no, I don't mind it. It just. Uh, by the way, that was amazing. And for anyone listening, that was, I mean, oh, right? Oh, that's crazy. I'm always shocked it's by that. It's good stuff. But let's see what happens when you touch Ronnie's Sounds knee. good. Ronnie, on the count of three, you'll open your eyes. When Gary touches your knee, your body will begin to respond as if the most beautiful woman in the world were touching your knee and touching you elsewhere. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes. Ronnie, when Gary touches your knee, the whole time he's touching your knee, it's as if you're in the middle of the throes of an earth-shaking orgasm. Oof. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes. All of you, <laughs> one, two, three, wide awake. So, Ronnie. Here. All right. Uh, uh, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Ronnie, how you doing, man? That's the creepiest good, thing ever. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, Ronnie, let me ask man. you a question. Let me ask you something. Um, so, what? wait, oh, Gary's going to touch your knee for a second. Hey, man. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> wait, wait! Can we let one of the let one of the broads touch his knee? Oh, that's too funny! Oh man! Oh man! Oh wow! Ronnie, what's going on? You like Gary, don't you? Did, were you, did you know you were attracted to Gary? On, man? What? I don't what know. Going on I don't know. Here? Gary keeps touching your knee. <laughs> Cut it out, man. <laughs> hey, uh, Ron, what's going on what's is going you're on, clearly man? a fig. <laughs> yeah, man. What's Ronnie. You? What are you laughing at? What's going on? Hey, Ronnie. <laughs> You like Gary a lot, huh? Gary's my buddy. Yeah, Gary's a good guy. Oh nah, man. How <laughs> good a buddy. <laughs> man. Hey, Ron, let Gary touch your knee for a second. He's going to test to see if your knee is, uh, needs an operation. Go ahead. How does this feel? Man, cut it out. What do you keep doing this for, man? What's up with you? Cut it out. Cut it out, man. You don't Not like with, it? We're friends. I, I know. No. Oh. Girls are supposed to do that. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out, man. What are you All doing? All right, sit down, Gary. Now, Ron. Oh. All right, all right. Well, Gary touches your knee, he's going to make out with you. No, wait. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was a riot. Damn, Marshall, you're good. I was afraid we are going to have to clean the studio up there in a second. Hey, Marshall, yes, what sir. if we, you know, Ronnie uh, and I have been fighting recently about this limousine and, and the fact that I don't like the limo he bought. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you could make him so that he has a truth serum? And even all the girls have a truth Well, uh, We'll get to the girls in a minute, but give Ronnie uh, like a truth serum that no matter who I ask him about, 
He has to give us the truth about us. He has to talk about Rob, and he has to talk about Artie, he has to talk about me and the limo and Gary. Can you like do that? Kind of like liar, liar. Right, like, right, right. You got okay, it. all right. This is good. Give him truth, Derek. <laughs> uh, you know, do you want to spice it up in the meantime? Uh, how do you do that? Uh, I'm going to uh, do something with the girls so they can be active while we're asking him questions. If that what are you, you going to do? Oh, go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Do on the count of three, ladies, you'll open your eyes. The moment you open your eyes, you'll find in your fingers something called a magic peephole. Whoever you look at through the peephole, you'll see completely naked. You'll see their entire business. You'll be able to measure them up, and you'll be able to uh, give them the, the score as well. And the count of three, open your eyes, ladies. Ronnie, the second you open your eyes, it is impossible for you to lie. Regardless of what might uh, come back to haunt you later on, you will tell the truth. No matter what Howard asks you, no matter what anybody asks you, on the count of three, uh, you'll open your eyes. Ladies, the moment you open your eyes, you have in your lap what's called a magic peephole. Whomever you look at through that peephole, you'll see nude. Ronnie, you have the inability to tell lies. You have to tell the truth. Otherwise, it hurts you so bad inside, you just blurt it out anyway. The count three, open your eyes. All of you, one, two, three, wide awake. All right, Ronnie, let me ask you some questions here on the show now. Um, what do you really think about me with the limo? Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad. You're not mad? Just disappointed. Disappointed? Yeah. And do you do you think we should change the limo? Uh, I don't really want to, but if I have to, I will. All right. So what do you think of me? Honestly. What do uh, you think you know, of You're me? my buddy, man, but uh, I'm just disappointed that you didn't take an interest in doing this when I asked you to. Yeah, but it's no big deal. You know we're going to fix everything. We'll get a new car. And he he didn't take an interest, so it's over. That right. part is over, That's right? All. No, right. but no. you know, <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little annoyed at you about it, you know. But you're still my buddy, no matter what. All right. How long does it take you to get over an annoyance? How long does it take you to get over an annoyance? I don't know. What do you think of Robin? Long time. Honestly, what do you think of Robin? What do you think of Robin? Hey, girls, calm down for a second. Oh. Hey, Ronnie, Sweet, what, do you, what, what do you think of Robin? What do I think of Robin? Yeah. Well, Robin used to be everybody's buddy, but now she's not. Oh. What, what do you mean? She used to hang out with everybody. She used to be their friend, and we used to all hang out and go out to dinner and stuff, but now she likes to throw everybody away. <laughs> do you think yeah. she's a snob? Not a snob. I don't know what happened to her. What do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe she just got too, too big for her bridges. So that's a snob. Bridges? Well, no, not a snob. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. Is she too big she for her... She left a... everybody else behind, I guess. She too big for her bridges or britches? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Like the Farazano bridges? <laughs> yeah. But do you think Robin... I like Robin. Man. But she changed. You're right. She changed a lot. Right. She went to driving school. She didn't invite me. <gasps> Did that hurt you more than anything? No, I didn't even know she was going. But th what hurts you about Robin the most? The fact that she used to come over? Yeah, we used to be friends. I guess we're not friends anymore. I don't know. Did you ever confront her about it? Nah. Why not? Nah. I don't know. I'm not like that. I, I could take a hint. Did you want to? He can't hear her. Did you yeah. want to confront her about it and then you held back? I don't know. Are you afraid of Robin? No. Nah. No. Nah. Are you afraid to talk to her? No. Nah. No, I, I, I talk to Robin any time I feel like talking to Robin. You attracted to her sexually? No. No? No. You want her? <laughs> no. No? No. Are you afraid of anything? Not really. What are you afraid of? I don't know. Nothing right now. What do you think of Gary, Baba Booey? Gary's my buddy. What do you think of his marriage? His marriage? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's happy. He's a happy guy. You think he's happy? Yeah. I do. He you don't loves think his he's wife and kids, man. He loves to hang out with them, and it, despite what you do to him, you know, he still he still likes uh, he still likes his family. He likes to be with his family. What do you think of Scott the engineer? Huh. Well. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what? What's going on there? No, nothing. He's my yeah. Tell he's, the truth. He, he's Tell the truth. What do you think of Scott the no, engineer? No, he's okay. He's a nice guy, but he you know he he has a problem hanging out, you know. Another guy who has a problem hanging what out. What is this problem hanging out? I don't know. Every time I ask him if, you know, like, I got this big birthday party coming up, and uh, every time I ask him if he's coming, it's like, uh, I, I don't know. I'll have to let you know. I'll have to let you know. I mean, what's the big deal? You say yes, you say no, you know. You well, know. you know why he can't go. You're having a birthday party at Scores. His wife right. won't let so him, what? right? So what? You think his wife lets him go to Scores? What about the other 35 guys that are coming? I mean, they're allowed to come. What's the big deal? But he's got a different situation. I wish you were coming, man. You're not coming. I'm not going to I'm very go. disappointed about that, too. But why am I not going? Because you have your daughter. That's right. Can't leave my daughter to go to scores. Convenient excuse. Well, if she goes to sleep, you could. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess I could, but I don't like to leave but that. But you won't. 
No. I'm whoa, not, whoa, I'm whoa, not whoa, whoa, important whoa. enough then. Uh-oh. Uh, here it comes. Uh, why here didn't comes you, the why didn't you, you right? Howard Why James? didn't you ask me if I was free before you made your party? Uh, I... I'm very hurt. Well, Why did you ask him before that's, you were that's born? My, you know, it's, first of all, it's, it's, that's the weekend of my birthday. That's number one. Number two, it's, it's Halloween weekend, and it's a lot of fun there. The girls are Yeah, all, but I have my they're daughter. All, they're all in costumes and stuff. I and can't leave my daughter that great time. can't leave little, my daughter. little food, little drink. I mean, yeah. you know. So is he angry? Get loaded. Not I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm angry. I'm not angry. I'm angry. Why do you want me to be angry? Everybody wants Has to be Howard angry. Has Howard changed? I'm not angry. You think I've changed? A little bit. How so? The truth oh. pours out of you. <laughs> this guy's crazy, man. Right, right. <laughs> He's well, touching my neck. What's up with you? <laughs> well, that's the truth. <laughs> He's a hypnotist. Go, yeah. go ahead. Tell him how you've changed. <laughs> tell me how I've changed. I, you know, you know, you can't talk to you anymore. It's hard to talk to you. I mean, like, even with this car thing, man, you know, it's like you're hard to talk to. What, are you crying? No, man. It's hot. My eyes are tearing, man. I don't know what's going on. We were in that room before. Everybody was sweating. Tag it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you think of Fred? Fred, me and Fred always got along from day one. What from, do you think of Artie? The day I met him in Hartford. What do you think of Artie? Artie's a good guy, man. You like Artie? Artie's cool to hang out with, man. We go. What about Benji? We go to jail together if we have to. <laughs> what about That's right, Benji? buddy. <laughs> what about Benji? Benji's a psychopath, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a total psychopath, man. Why do you say that? Because it's like total attention with Benji, man. Right. Everything this man does is attention. What's your biggest regret in life? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty cool right now. I'm happy. Who I'm content. doesn't he like on the staff? Who don't you like on the staff? I don't know. I Tell the truth. Pretty much like everybody. Tell we the truth. Along. We, we fight and goof around. And who stuff. don't you like? I know there's some people you don't like. Like who? I don't know. I'm asking you. Nah, I mean, everybody in here I like. Even though Benji's psycho, I like him. <laughs> I like Scott. Scott's, you know, even though Scott can't hang out with me, but uh, right. it's all right. <laughs> all right. Gary's, Gary's my buddy. All right. As far as I know, him. I think he is. All right. Let's put him under here. Sweet. All right. Wait. Wow. Really All right. everybody. I think it's time to turn Ronnie into a hot scores girl. Yes. Tell him he's a pretty scores girl. And um, and he's attracted to... No, put Artie on the couch. Yeah. And tell him that he's really attracted to Artie. Right. <laughs> yeah, Artie, put this blonde wig on. Go ahead. <laughs> this is Kelly Clark. <laughs> yeah, here's your blonde wig. You'll be a pretty girl. Hey, can you tell Ronnie he's a hot scores girl and that... Uh, well, then why does Artie need a wig? No, it's just for the TV show. Oh. It's funny. <laughs> Artie and a blonde wig. <laughs> Showbiz. No, not the girls. <laughs> we want it to be funnier. That, that would be too easy. <laughs> oh, God. You're a blonde. Oh, nice. You look good, Art. Howard, you, you really believe in my abilities, don't you? I really do. Well, give it a shot. I can see. It. No, this is, Ronnie's a great subject. Yeah, you're and telling I, me. And i got to tell you, um, it takes a high level of intelligence to respond to hypnosis because it's just a learning process. Sure. So he's a, great, he's a great subject. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a blank slate. <laughs> Go ahead. On the count of three, all of you will open your eyes, feeling fantastic in every way. Ronnie, uh, you are incredibly attracted to the woman all the way down on the end with the blonde hair. She is so hot. And all you want to do is make some moves on her. Whatever it takes, you've got to have this woman in a bad way. On the count of three, open your eyes, Ronnie. You are incredibly attracted to the uh, gal on the other end. You do not notice the gal has five days of growth on her face. <laughs> on the count of three, open your eyes, all of you. One, two, three, wide awake. Ronnie, you're incredibly drawn to the blonde-haired girl on the end. Hey, Ron. <laughs> Ronnie, you're a sexy scores girl, aren't you? No, Ronnie's just attracted to the girl on the end. Oh, I get it. What's up, man? Ronnie. <laughs> What's the matter, Ron? What's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> What's going on, brother? She's hot, man. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> you like her? Yeah. You want to sit next to her? What's her name? Do you got, what's her name? What's your name, honey? Artara. <laughs> Hey, listen, honey. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? I can't even talk to her, man. Why? She's too hot? She's hot. She's a hot chick, What man. do you want to do like, to her? Oh, man, it's so hot. What's up? What's up? <laughs> you want to sit next to her? You want to sit on her lap? Go can ahead, man. You can. You, you want to? Can she sit on my lap? Yeah. Please? She's the girl. All right. All right. She'll sit on your lap. You want her to give you a lap dance? No, right. I just I want her to sit on my lap. 
Go ahead. Come here, baby. Sit, sit down. Here. Sit down on his lap. All right, Tara, sit down. Sit down. You, sit you guys on. have the better view over there. I'm not sitting. I'm not going near your lap, you fruit. <laughs> no, sit on his lap, Artie. No, I'm not Artie, sitting come on, on his lap. Come on, Artie. Maybe I need to zap oh. Artie, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll do this, maybe. Listen, I... No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come What's wrong with you? What's wrong, man? I mean, I'll, I'll like go wait, wait, near Wait, wait, wait. Put him, on, put him under for a second. Sleep, What's wrong? Right? Wait a minute. Right. <laughs> what if you give Ronnie the blonde wig? He make a, him the dancer. He's the sexy yeah. girl. And he's a, she, she's Artie. attracted to Artie. Oh. All right. Okay, okay she's, tra good. she's attracted to sounds all good, the men. Man. <laughs> all right. Artie, I haven't ever you so I'm tight. Artie, how weird was that? That was a little guy. I, I don't want to touch him. He started pulling me towards his, uh, you know. You know what? How, do you think that if Artie would have sat on Ronnie's lap, he would have felt something? Yeah. I That's think what so. I mean. And then I would have been in therapy for the next 40 years. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes. Ronnie, feeling fantastic in every way. Your name is Ronette. You are Ronette, and you are the hottest stripper at no Scores way. Club. No and you uh, you can't wait to dance for Artie. In fact, you know he's Mr. Got Bucks. And you know that the more you dance for him, the more seductive. <laughs> and sexy you are for Mr. Got Bucks, Artie, the more money you're going to get and rent is due. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes feeling fantastic in every way, Ronnie. You are Ronette, the sexiest dancer at scores. One, two, three, wide awake. Hey, Ronette. Ronette. Yeah. You are the sexiest chick I've ever seen. You are so hot. Thanks. Yeah. How much money do you make at scores? 3000 a night at least. At least. And what do you do for that money? I go, I take... Guys that are horny into private rooms and dance for them. You do. Are you good? Are you the best? I'm the best. Yeah. What do you think of this uh, Artie over here? Is he hot? Mr. Got Bucks. Are you, is he hot? I'm go look at him. Take a good look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this girl knows how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> is this your type? Is this my Ronette, type? is that your type? I like him. You like him. <laughs> you like him. Yes, I him. I do. Get away. Run it. Take off. Run it. Take Ronnie's something off. You, honey. Take off your you clothes. Cold, honey. <laughs> 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 Is you can't give him a lap dance? Yeah, he doesn't want me. He's scared. Yeah, just that. Uh, that's that's enough. How big are your breasts? Run it. Thirty-four double D. Thirty-four double D. Yeah. How much do you yeah. weigh? How much do you weigh? Oh, about one hundred and seventy. 170. <laughs> You're a big girl. Perfect. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm How do you stay in shape? Actually, 175, 178. Right. And so you, I, it fluctuates depending what time of the month it is. You, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do to Artie? What, yeah, what do you want to do to Artie? I want to get some of his money. Right. Do you want to give him a nice take dance? I to that private room back there. You know what Artie likes to do to girls? He likes to spank them. Do you mind getting into the spanking device? <laughs> Can What's I that? spank you? Would you like to make some real big money? What do I have to do? Artie wants to spank you. Can I spank you? Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, you got to go over there. Go over there. Bend over that chair. You got to pay me first. All right, wait. I'll get my cash. Spoken He's like got cash, dance. Ronette. Hey, Ronette, come over here. Well, come over there and bend over the uh, spanking area. <laughs> I want to see Ronnie dance. <laughs> Ronnie, do a little, Ronette, do a little lap. Do a pole dance to get Artie excited. Oh. Just, you know, pretend it's a pole. Go ahead. There you go. <laughs> You're wow, good. Wow, sexy. You're sexy. <laughs> How much sweating? It's hot. Well, of course it's hot. It's a studio. It's a party. Right. Ronette, the... Ronette, go ahead. Bend over the spanking and Artie will spank How you. How much to spank you, bitch? How much you got? <laughs> What's that? 20? Nah. He'll give you more. We'll give you more. We'll give you 150 afterwards. 50's good. 50's good. All right. 50's good. All right. All right. All right. Get over there and say, Daddy, I want you to spank me. Wait, give me that thing. Hey, listen. You got the spanking yeah. thing? Listen. I don't like it hard, though. <laughs> All right. I don't like it hard. Ronette. Ronette, show Artie. Uh, show, what are you wearing? Little silk panties? <laughs> Pink. Pink panties. Yeah. And what else? With, with high heels? Yeah. Now yeah. beg Master Artie yeah. for your spanky. Beg for a spanking, bitch. Yeah, hold my money. Uh, uh, Ronette? Yes. You're a sexy girl, right? Yes. You like a sexy spanking from Artie? I don't like it hard, though. All right. He gives <laughs> it to me hard, I'll kick his ass. Ronette, Ronette, did you shave your legs today? No. You didn't? No. Are you totally shaved everywhere? No. Where aren't you shaved? What about your private area? No. You, what do you no. have, a little tiny... Uh, a little, little, like a strip. He's a not strip. shaved on his face. <laughs> you, have a you have a landing strip? He's got a goatee. 
Ronette. Yes. Do you? Uh, you should ask Artie for a spanking. Go ahead, beg him. Artie, please spank me. All right, whore. Please. Oh! Is that hey, I said not so hard. <laughs> that ain't hard. I'll kick yes. your ass. Ask for oh. another one. Ronette, ask what for another one. What is that you're hitting me with? Say you want more. I want more. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on. Say you want more. You're getting more, hit with baby. the stick. Give me some more money. More money. More wiggle money. Your, wiggle your ass for Artie with your pink panties. Wait a minute. Wait. Stop everything. All right. More money. I don't do anything unless I get more money. All right, Ben, you're pretty, you know what? You are a good scorer's girl. Go back to your seat and take your 50. You Here, you take, oh, this is too creepy. <laughs> Say I'm a dirty, what? filthy, spit-covered sleep. Oh, man, that is unbelievable. Artie, I mean, Ronnie is amazing. <laughs> Oh, he's too uh, amazing. He's a great like, subject. <laughs> this looks like someone fell asleep in the middle of a rape. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are really good, Marshall wow. Silver. Hey, thank you. You are really good. Wait a minute. Let me get That's my money back compliment. while he's on there. <laughs> mm. Howard, he's bent yeah. over like the girl in Star 80. He's got his butt in I there. know. It looks really strange. Touch the score girl's legs again because it's getting a little gay in here. Here we go. <laughs> a little? Uh, 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 uh. Oh God! Uh, uh, Here it comes. Uh, oh, oh God! Uh. Wow! This finger is for hire, ladies. Do you do that with chicks, like that you uh, in your in your personal life? Uh, of course not. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we should put Ronnie in a dress. I was, I was thinking, what hap What would happen if the hypnotist just woke him up and he was Ronnie, and that's where he found where himself? Where he found himself? How do you get? <laughs> that's kind of funny. Oh, you know what? No, yeah. wait a minute. First, we put him in a dress. Then we wake him up. Yeah. <laughs> and do, do, do his makeup and hair. <laughs> hey, uh, Joe, you're on the air. Wait till you see this on E. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, Jason, come in and get a picture of Ronnie over the uh, over the uh, spanking chair. <laughs> you got to see this. You got to put this on uh, HowardStern.com. Just get some pictures. Yeah, hey, Joe, you're on the air. Yes, sir. I just want to let you know I'm a big fan. I'm 22 years old. I'm calling from Hartford, Connecticut. I love your show, man. Thank you. The thing with Ronnie is hilarious. Man. Yeah, what else we got to do to him? I mean, this is too good. Well, you know what? The other thing we did once was make a guy think he was in love with you. Oh, that'd be creepy. Why don't we just <laughs> come on? He can, he'll be trying to come on to you. Wait a second. Howard, can, we, just, can we just discuss the fact real quick that your head of security is over there <laughs> right now, bent over? Bent over asleep. a chair. <laughs> I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should make Ronnie think he's pregnant with my baby. Ah, there you go. And I want him to get an abortion, and he wants to have the baby. No, make him have the baby. Make him have the baby? Yeah, he'll go into labor right here. What do you think he'll name the baby? And yeah. he'll be carrying All right. his baby. All right, that's a good one. Can you do that one, Guys, Marshall? let's make him yeah, give uh, oral to a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's just go to the whole well, room. This is, this is coming from the guy that wouldn't even sit on his lap. Yeah, Marshall, Marshall, let me ask you. Can you make Ronnie go into the bathroom and change into a bikini? And then come out and tell me he's pregnant with my baby? You, you know, I have a certain responsibility to my subjects. Yeah, he I doesn't do. care, though. He doesn't care. I don't know. <laughs> come on. You know, it, I tell you what. Yeah. It, it's going to be so funny when he has your baby. Right. And, and frankly, I really don't want to see his hairy butt in a bikini. Can you make him put on a bikini top at least? Oh, yeah, we can make him do oh, that. Yeah, the bikini top. All right. That's yeah, great. absolutely. Wait a minute. Can we'll you make one of these two chicks, like, attracted to us? So I, I do don't, don't do miracles, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a second. Just joking. I can do that. Absolutely. Just joking. All right. Put the girls on there for a second. Sleep, for a... ladies. Wait. What do you want, Artie? What's your fantasy? What are you saying? Why don't you make, like, these two chicks? Like, like what if they're insanely attracted to me and Benji? And then I'll know this works. You know what I mean? Right. And remember what sure. we did one time? We we had the girls thinking they were madly in love, and then you wake them up in the midst of their going. Yeah, and then they their, see who they're with. And then they see who hey, they're hey, with. Hey, Howard. Yeah. You know why this is particularly funny right. with Benji? Because um, when they were in the green room, they saw that picture of Benji naked, and right. they were mocking it for like five minutes. They oh, were like, okay. oh my God, who is that? That's yeah. disgusting. All right, get over there, guys, quick. <laughs> All right, so. Benji, get over. Benji, wash it up. All right. The job has its perks. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're bringing the ladies out next. On the count of three, ladies, you'll open your eyes feeling fantastic in every way. The man beside you is the hottest stud you have ever seen in your whole life. In fact, you know this is the man you have been 
looking for your entire lifetime. You are so attracted to them. All you want to do is, is be near them, make out with them, and just absolutely win this guy over because this is the love of your life. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes, ladies. The man seated beside you is the most beautiful, attractive man, richest man, sexiest man you've ever seen. Brad Pitt takes a back seat to this guy. On the count of three, open your eyes, feeling fantastic in every way. You are so incredibly physically attracted to these men. One, two, three. Wide awake, ladies. Morgan, uh, have you met Benji, by the way? Do you love him? How you doing? Morgan, how do you feel What's about up? Benji? How you doing? Thank I'm you. Let me, and let, me, let me interview Morgan first. Morgan, what do you think of Benji? Of Benji? Yeah. Hang on, I can't see him. No, Benji's, no, Benji's next right to next you. to you. Okay. What He's you, very handsome. Very handsome. You like him? Yeah. Would you go out with him? Oh, yes. I noticed him. you're rubbing his leg. Why is that? Because he's attractive. Yeah? And you want to go out with him? Yes. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you want to kiss him or be his wife? Can I? If you want to, you can, yes. If that's what you want. But Benji, is that okay with you? I know you have a lot of girlfriends. Uh, how do you feel about this beautiful girl, Morgan? Um, yeah, I'd like to see if this thing is real. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it's real. <laughs> Oh, yes. It's e oh, <laughs> oh, it's real, yeah, it's real right. okay. <laughs> Holy <laughs> and now you know why I became a hypnotist. Now tell, oh, now tell her to see that. Benji oh, for what he really is. Goodness. As I snap my Give fingers... Like another minute. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, do it. As I snap my fingers, you'll see Benji for exactly what he is to Keep you. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? And now, Morgan, are you still into Benji? Huh? Do you like Benji? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you, you move away? Why don't you give him a kiss? Huh? Do you like kissing him, or would you like to kiss him? No. No? <laughs> what happened? You wanted to a few minutes ago. I don't know. Let me talk to um, Chase. Chase, that's uh, Artie. Who Let me introduce you. Next to Hi, Chase. How you doing? Chase, doing do you like uh, Artie? Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah. As I say, touch your forehead, it becomes 10,000 times more attractive to you, All even right. more. All right. <laughs> uh, would you like to go out with Artie? Go out with him? I just want to make out with him. You do? You're yeah. really desperate for him. <laughs> is he like the hottest guy you ever saw? Oh, yeah. Who couldn't be attracted to him? Really? What is it you love about him? Um, your hair. <laughs> My hair. smile. What about his physique? <laughs> what about his muscular body? Oh, yeah. Look at this. You must work out a lot, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot back in the mid-80s. <laughs> you know what his I nickname? His nickname is The Belly. <laughs> the belly. The belly, yeah, yeah because of his hot, rock hard abs. Yeah, you want to show your abs. abs. Show my, your abs. Can I press my body against your belly? Yeah. How's that? Oh. How's that? Oh, uh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, these are That's the best abs I've seen in a long time. Really? Wow. <laughs> you want to give Artie a kiss? Go ahead, please. Sure. Well, I don't know if we should kiss on the lips, but I think, you know. Oh, you can I give him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's going down the neck. Wow. Who do you think's more attractive, Artie or George Clooney? Artie. Yeah. Who's better, Artie or Brad Pitt? Artie. Artie. Wow. wow. All right. Uh, now, now make it so that she can she, so you, should, you can kiss him on the neck all you want. Now make her see him for what he is. As I snap my fingers, you'll see who you're actually kissing, and he smells horrendous. What do you got to tell her I smell horrendous? Because you're too good looking. That wouldn't have worked. Um, <laughs> but, well, hey, hey, uh, Chase, uh, what do you think of Artie? Honestly. Hey, what do you think of me? I mean, um, um, he seems like he could be a really nice guy. You were just kissing him a few minutes ago. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I saw you kissing him. No, I wouldn't. Uh, that you. wasn't you. Would you kiss him now? <laughs> is, is he your type to kiss? No. No, he's not. You find him repulsive? <laughs> he smells bad. I'll tell you that. <laughs> don't you think? I don't <laughs> smell bad. Does she? Does, does does he smell bad? Um, he could probably use maybe some deodorant or something. Right. Oh. Thanks, Marshall. I mean that As I nice snap way. my fingers, he smells ten times worse. Oh, oh. oh. oh she's moving away. Oh. God. When I snap my fingers, there's going to be a creepy guy in a black <laughs> suit behind me. <laughs> Touche. All right, let's put the girls out. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ronnie. Ronnie still bent over the thing. All right, when Ronnie gets up, Marshall. If the blood hasn't all run to his head. When Ronnie gets up, he's got a bikini top on. Okay. You're going to make him put on his bikini top. Okay. And then he's going to, uh, oh, I forgot what we were going to do. He's going to have your baby. Right, he's gonna, right, 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 right. right, right. Baby. right, right. And he's madly in love with me and only wants to have my baby. Okay. All right, that's good. <laughs> and he wants the bikini top on so I'll be more attracted to him. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're going to tell him you don't love him anymore, but he's madly right. in love with you. That's and right. And having your baby. Right. Ronnie, in the count of three, you'll open your eyes. Uh, feeling fantastic in every way. You're 
your buttocks feel just fine. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes. Uh, you are so in love with Howard Stern. You had a one night of bliss with him, and you are pregnant with his child. And you are so in love with him that you want to do whatever you can do to attract him so that he will marry you so that you guys can have a, a real family together and a real future. <laughs> on the count of three, you'll open your eyes. You realize that uh, the purple bikini top that we have in the studio is, in your mind, irresistible to Howard. You know that as long as you're wearing that bikini top, he will so be yours. Oh. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes feeling fantastic in every way. Uh, you are madly in love with Howard. You are pregnant with his child, and you realize that purple bikini top is a Howard magnet. On the count of three, you open your eyes. One, two, three, wide awake. Ronnie? Ronnie? Hi. How you doing? All right, what am I doing here? I don't know. Get up and <laughs> let me look at you. What are you doing over Get there? Get up on that chair. What am I doing here? <laughs> A pregnant woman shouldn't be acting that way. Hey, Ronnie. Do, do you see that purple bikini top? Yeah. You want to put it on for me? If you want me to. I think you look attractive, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't you put it on for can me? Can you tie it for me? I All can't right, why don't you tie it? Why, why don't you, can someone tie that for him so he looks pretty? He's not going to take off his shirt? <laughs> Do you want to take off your shirt and put that on? No, I have a fat belly. Oh, I yes. Have, I'm having your baby. You didn't know that? What? I'm hav You're having my baby? You got yeah. pregnant? Yeah. We only did it one time. I don't know. I don't want to show my belly now. <laughs> you're so bad. Hey, uh, you got to get an abortion. No, I'm not doing that. Why? Because. I don't want to bait. What, are you in love with me? You don't. You, <laughs> you know that. God, you're in love with me? What's wrong with him? He know, everybody knows that. What's wrong with you? Everybody knows what's going on. What, no, what's well, going tell on? Tell me what's going on. Look at me. How stupid he's playing. <laughs> what the hell's wrong? <laughs> what's going on? Why don't you tell everyone? <laughs> what's wrong with you, man? You tell me what's going on. You know going what's on. going on with us? We did it once. So what? Now you're in love? Well, I'm having a kid. I mean... Uh, what, what is your plans with this kid? What do you want me to do? What do you mean? Is it a boy or Are a girl? Are we getting married? You want me to marry you? Yeah. And have more sex with you? Why not? And more children with you? I mean... You listen to me. If you ever want to have sex with me again, you get an abortion. Well, if I have to. You would do it. You're, what I'll is it, a boy or want. a girl? I mean, if that's the way you have to be about it. What is it, a boy or a girl? I don't know yet. Are you crying about this? No. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, if it's a boy, what are you going to name the baby? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, that's Ronnie? That's so funny. You're a pretty girl, don't get me wrong, but you're a one-night stand in my book. Why'd you have to be like that? <laughs> He's crying. You're crying. <laughs> He's real tears. Why does he have to be like that? <laughs> Why are you, you know what? What's up with I that? don't want to have a baby. <laughs> As I snap my fingers, <laughs> the baby is about to drop. <laughs> oh, my God. You better come over here. Sit down, Ryan. Oh, no. You're, you're about to give birth. Baby. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Sit down. Okay, Sit down. Gonna... I'll hold Put your hand. Up in the stairs. You breathe. You breathe. Are you okay, Ronnie. Here comes the baby. It's it's about to come. Except it's a painful birth. No. Here it comes. No. As I snap my fingers, having no. the baby now. No, 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 no. Here Make it comes. Him, oh, I can't do this. Make him oh, birth. I can't do this. <laughs> oh. Come on. Push. No. I can't do it. It's coming. No. I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh. What do you think of how? No. We <laughs> 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 Sleep, Ronnie. Wait. <laughs> On the count of three, you'll open your eyes, and uh, I'll hand you your baby. One, two, three. Wide awake. Oh. Here's hey. your baby, Ronnie. Ronnie, that's our kid. There you go. Ronnie, let me see my baby. <laughs> that's the ugliest kid on record. <laughs> <laughs> Who does it look like? Ronnie. Look to me. I just feel like I just went through the ringer. What's going on? <laughs> Ronnie, do you, uh, you want me to keep the baby? I want to give it for a doctor. Take it home. You want to take it home? No, you take it home. What am I going to do with it? I tell you, take it home. You're the woman. No, I want you to have it. I don't want. Ronnie, it. Ronnie, you've got some explaining to do. It's a black kid. <laughs> oh my God. Ronnie, who do you think it looks like, me or you? Looks like you. Has long hair. Yeah. What are you going to name it? Yeah. What name are you going to give the baby? I don't know. I haven't thought about that yet. Come boy up. or a girl? Is that a boy or a girl? I can't tell. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. Well, what about Howard Jr.? No, I don't like Howard Jr. No? No. How about Marshall? 
No, I'm not Morgan. Marshall Silver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the doctor. I see. I can't. I kind of like like Joey or something like that. Why don't you flush that thing down the toilet so we can get back to banging each other? <laughs> All right? Flush it down the toilet. No, I'm not going to kill it. I can't do Get rid of it. I can't do You can't that. kill a baby? I can't do that. No. You're not a baby killer? No, I can't do that. Yes, you are. What, are you going to breastfeed? I can't do it. Let me see you breastfeed the baby. I can't. No. As I snap no. my fingers, the baby's very hungry. You know what to do. <laughs> breastfeed the baby, Ron. Let me see. I don't see. know what to do. As I snap my what fingers, do you, do? you do know what to do. It needs mama's milk. There you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh isn't that nice? Are you breastfeeding over there? Are you are you breastfeeding our baby, Baba Booey? Yeah. Yeah. Baby yeah. Booey? Yeah. How'd you feel? That, that, it's that, good. It's good. Sing it's the good. lullaby to the baby while you feed it. Rockabye Joey. 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 <laughs> Is that the name of the baby? I like the name Joey. What yeah. a Eugene. <laughs> I know. What a complete Eugene. I like Joey. It's cool. Joe. All right. Joey's cool. All right. That's a Hey, when Marshall snaps his Sleep. fingers, you're giving Way. Laurel to Scott, the engineer. <laughs> 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 Let's get crazy. Come on. Howard, Howard, he's leaning against me now. He's 120 degrees. Yeah, I know. He's out. Well, let me tell you something, wow. Marshall. Where do we see you? Let me give you a plug or something. Yeah, I'd love really a plug. You know, we've got, I spend most of my time teaching people hypnosis for uh, personal development reasons, making money, becoming more confident, staying more focused. And we are doing seminars all over the country right now. And I'd you could teach me how to do this. I can teach well, you how to do this. i got to tell you something. The, the stuff where those chicks were making out with Artie and Benji. That was a step. I can teach you how to do that. You can teach us how to yeah, do that. In fact, we're going to do a free seminar up here in New York and a bunch all over the country over the next couple of months. And you could teach me how to make chicks do that. Absolutely. That's insane. I, in, in fact, you'd probably be really good at it. Wow. Howard, the way it was real too, because the way this chick was like licking my neck. Was, oh my god! I was right there. Wow. She was trying to get her tongue in his ear, but Artie wouldn't let her. Well, of course, I, I'm in love with someone else, but I wonder if she would have put her tongue in your belly button. <laughs> oh. No, I don't think that's. Gonna she happen. looked at that abdomen and said, "Wow, those are the best abs I've seen." That's if no shit. Yeah. <laughs> so so, oh, so come people on, can Rob. sign up at Silver. Yeah, they, they can get free tickets to the seminar. Usually, it's Slver dot com. Wow. Slver dot com, and I'll just. Uh, when they sign up, tell them they heard about it here on Howard Stern. Just so uh, Ronnie doesn't feel gay when he wakes up, uh, make him in love with Robin and let him uh, do a, po a love poem to Robin when he gets up. Oh, he's a yeah. poet. Just so, just so Ronnie will never feel gay again, kill him. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. On the count of three, Ronnie, you'll open your eyes. You feel fantastic. You'll forget anything that's happened on the show today. People will try to tell you what's happened, and you'll think they're crazy. You'll watch videotape of it later on on E, and even that won't look like you. You'll say, that's it's not me. That's somebody that looks just like me. It's not me. You will forget anything that happened during this morning's show. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes, and you are, for the next five or ten minutes, incredibly attracted to Robin. In fact, you want to serenade her. You want to speak words of love and romance to her. You want to do anything you can to win her heart over for the next five to ten minutes. And then immediately you'll forget you've even done that and everything else on the show. On the count of three, open your eyes, Ronnie, feeling fantastic in every way. One, two, three, wide awake. All right, hey Ronnie, you've been a good sport today, man. You're a good man. What happened? Hey, would you stand up a second, Ronnie? Stand up, man. Give me your hand. There you go. There you go. <laughs> There's Robin. If you want to say anything to her, Robin. Yes. Could, could we like be friends again? Of course, we're always friends. No, we're not friends. You, I, I need you to be my friend again. I've we always got, we gotta been We got to go hang friend. out. We what, drive are you in love cars. with her? Robin's always been my buddy. We used to watch wrestling together. Well, win her yes, over. We, we used to sit on the floor and watch wrestling together. <laughs> win her over. She doesn't like me anymore, I don't think. But oh, I'm going to try and be, do my best. I'm going to do my best to make you like me again. As I snap my fingers, do? you have the you're incredible gonna like, confidence. You're going like to like me again. As I snap my fingers, you have unending confidence. Okay. You are in love with Robin right. and you want to serenade her. Go ahead, Ron. She's so beautiful. <laughs> you're, you're too much, Ron. She is Robin? beautiful. Yes. I love you. <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Ron. Can we be best friends again? Absolutely. We Let me be. sing you this little song, okay? You got a song nice. for me? Nice. Robin's my pal. All right. And always will be. Yes. And I don't know what I'm talking about, but she's going to be my buddy. All right, make it so that he's okay. in love with Scott the Engineer and he wants to sing okay. a song. Yes, sing to Scott. Thank you, Ronnie. We As I snap my friend. finger, yeah. your love is transferred to Scott the Engineer. 
Scott. Ronnie, turn this Yo. Up. Hey, Ronnie, take a look at Scott, the engineer. Hey, bud. Hey, honey. Oh. <laughs> My pal. How you doing, man? How you feeling? Are you good. okay again? I'm feeling good. Thanks. You know, Scott almost died. No, I didn't. My buddy. I didn't almost die. Yeah, what happened to you he anyway? He almost died. What happened? Are had, you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I had some chest pains last week. wife was very worried about you, I know. man. I know. She I know. thought it was all over. Ronnie, I mean, are you in love with Scott? Scott's my pal, man. Yeah. yeah my you buddy. Want to sing a doing? nice love song to him? No, I can't. As I snap my fingers, you're overwhelmingly drawn. Scott. Yeah. My friend. <laughs> if Do you love him? Over, it will be the end. Over? But I thought we were like had a thing. always be my buddy, man. I thought we had a Just thing, Just so though. you know, I can't let it go. <laughs> Ronnie, you want to you kiss Scott's hairy hand? Go ahead. I kiss my pal. <laughs> He's in love. Nice. Oh, nice. You, got, you got a hair between your teeth oh, there, Ronnie. Now, now that's devotion. You want to give him a hug? Go ahead, man. You can. Yeah, it's my boy. Do you uh, want to kiss Scott's uh, brown uh, fingers? I know why it's so hot. Hey, what, what is that I feel? <laughs> There's a pickle in his pants. Uh-oh. <laughs> my phone. What? Oh, that's your phone. My phone. Hey, that's I a phone. I thought he said his poem. My phone. My that's phone. my poem I wrote right. for you. Well, that's very nice. Thank it's you, Ron. It's very hot. I've had enough game, though. Why is it so hot? <laughs> As I snap my fingers, your body cools down. You're cooler now. More relaxed. Mm. When people are hypnotized, their uh, circulation increases, so sometimes their, their body will get hot. <laughs> I thought it was Scott being so hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I want to thank you. Oh, Marshall Silver, amazing. you're a pretty amazing man. Thank Meanwhile, you. the girls right. are still asleep. Yeah, the girls yeah. are still asleep, and, and just for, for the rest of their lives, make them super attracted to me, will you? Yeah, <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> yeah. You don't need a hypnotist. That's right. Silver.com, S-Y-L-V-E-R. I must tell you, what I've seen has been amazing. Hey, you know, I, want, I really uh, would love to shake up the audience. We should do something where we hypnotize listeners via the radio all over the country. Really? And get into the Guinness Book of Records. I don't think you're allowed to do no, that. No, you're not. You're not because really? people driving in their cars and stuff, then oh, like, they yeah, had weird they reactions. That. That's why we always How do much it. more trouble could you be? That's why we always do it <laughs> off the air. They don't let yeah. you do it. Yeah. The, a mass hypnotism, unfortunately. I would love to do that. God, think of the ratings. <laughs> Hypnotize people into thinking they're really good drivers. Yeah. Marshall right. Silver Hypnotist, S-Y-L-V-E-R, and Ronnie, the Mund Limo driver. Ronnie, thank you for participating. How are you? What did I do? You were great. You were just sitting here and laughing with the rest of us, and oh, I appreciate you being you. in the studio. Oh, thanks for having me. I, I would like to thank um, uh, Morgan and Chase from Scores, the great Scores. Scores, my birthday party. Everybody be there. All right. And Are by you the coming? Way, yes. And look at these beautiful women. <laughs> How could you lie to him like that? You better be there, man. <laughs> it's right. going to be a big soiree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As always, you know you love coming to my birthday. Absolutely. And uh, these two girls are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Want to leave us great with it? Morgan, look at Morgan. Isn't Morgan hot? Yeah, Morgan. On the count of three ladies, you'll open your eyes. If Howard uh, vibrates his finger up and down in front of you, you'll begin bouncing up and down on the bench. As oh. long as he vibrates his fingers, you'll bounce up and down on the bench. On the count of three ladies, open your eyes, feeling fantastic in every way. One, two, three, wide awake. Hey, Morgan, Chase, I want to thank you guys for being with us today. I think you're terrific, and we're going to see you at Scores Dancing Up a Storm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys. All right, you have to see that on doing? TV. What are you doing? And thank you for coming in here, okay? The two of you are great. I swear to God, you're great. Yes, yes. Marshall. Yes, sir. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Uh, they are great subjects. Ronnie is a blast, and the ladies are stunningly beautiful. What a good time. Ron, did you remember what happened there? We were hanging out. Just kind of hanging out? We were hanging out on the couch. You don't remember anything about the, the kid? What kid? Okay. No, Morgan. What happened with you in there? Nothing. We're you don't remember there what happened with Benji back there? No. You have no idea what you did with Benji. No, what I do. <laughs> Benji, why don't you tell me? We kissed. We we like sort of made out a little bit. Wait a minute. Did we? Yeah. I was I was in there. I didn't see anything like that. Yeah, yeah did you, you, you were you made uh, out with him? You made you out with asleep. <laughs> No, well, you made on. out with well, the party, so... No, it's, got, it's a joke, right? You won't. We were no, all sitting we together on the couch. I could have... Huh? I don't know. I slipped. You had, like, you had a tongue kiss, Benji. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Oh. No. no is that true? Yeah. Oh, Chase. Do you remember what happened? <laughs> no. I don't remember anything. That was great. You're, like, incredibly attracted to Artie. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, and you like give him a kiss on the neck. Shut up. I guess Marshall did his job today. That's what we do.
How are you feeling, man? I feel good. I feel relaxed. Feel yeah. powerful? Yeah, I feel strong. 